Today, I came across an article that truly shook me to the core and gave me goosebumps. It was all about the signs of the end times. Alright, no time for beating around the bush, fasten your pants and let's get started. I'm about to share something with you that's truly incredible. Three eclipse paths are going to come together and form a massive leaf shape over America, and very few people are aware of this. You see, a leaf is the first letter in the Hebrew alphabet, and bed is the second letter. Interestingly, the word alphabet originated from combining a leaf and bed. Now, you might be wondering, is the completion of this giant leaf over the United States significant? Well, I firmly believe it is, and I'll explain why in this video. In the 21st chapter of Luke, Jesus warned us that there would be signs in the sun, moon and stars in the last days. So, it's important for us to keep an eye out for such phenomena. For an eclipse to occur, both the sun and the moon must be involved. Anyway, in his book Seven Year Apocalypse, Michael Snyder has detailed how the Great American Eclipse of 2017 will later combine with the Great American Eclipse of 2024 to create a massive X across America. Here's an excerpt from his book. Well, what would you say if I told you that an enormous X that is in the process of being marked across the United States will be completed in the year 2024? I know that may sound very strange, but stick with me, and you will soon understand what I am talking about. On August 21, 2017, the Great American Eclipse made headlines all over the world. It was the very first solar eclipse since 1918 that was able to be seen all the way from the west coast to the east coast. In the US, the path of the eclipse started in Oregon, it continued all the way across the continental United States, and it exited the country in South Carolina. But what makes that eclipse unlike any other is the fact that it will combine with another historic eclipse in 2024 to form a giant X across America. On April 8, 2024, another great American eclipse will make headlines all over the world. The path of that eclipse will cross over the states of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire and Maine. If you plot the paths of the 2017 eclipse and the 2024 eclipse on the same map, you will clearly see that they combine to form a massive X right over the heartland of the continental United States. Take a look at this map to get an idea of what that colossal X will look like. The precise point where the Great American Eclipse of 2017 and the Great American Eclipse of 2024 intersect covers parts of Kentucky, Illinois, and Missouri. If you closely examine this area on a map, you'll notice that it falls right in the heart of the New Madrid Fault Zone. In several of Michael's books, he has discussed the inevitable occurrence of a tremendously catastrophic earthquake along the New Madrid Fault Zone. This earthquake will be of such enormous magnitude that it will permanently reshape the geography of the United States, and you certainly wouldn't want to be anywhere near when that quake finally strikes. But now, we're uncovering even more to this story. On October 14, 2023, an annular solar eclipse will traverse the United States, from Oregon to Texas. If you overlay the path of that annular solar eclipse on the paths of the Great American Eclipse of 2017 and the Great American Eclipse of 2024, you'll see that these three eclipses actually combine to form a massive leaf shape across America. A tweet by Randy Seve about this phenomenon has caused quite a commotion. I just saw this and got the shivers. Look at that. Those are the 2017, 2023 and 2024 solar eclipses on the United States. That's God's signature. That's an alif. The alif is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. The alif in Hebrew has a numerical value of one. The alif is also representative of God and the oneness of God, the one true God. The alif is also made of three lines. The number three biblically represents divine wholeness, completeness and perfection. This leaf is from the Paleo-Hebrew script, also Paleo-Hebrew, Proto-Hebrew or Old Hebrew, the writing system found in ancient inscriptions of Biblical Israel and Judah. The leaf represents the ox or bull. 
It is also represented in the stars as the constellation Taurus the Bull. Representative of God. Taurus is a large constellation in the northern sky. Its name means bull in Latin. The constellation is symbolized by the bull's head, the leaf. The word leaf actually means ox, and the symbol for the letter leaf in Paleo-Hebrew looks like an ox's head and was first originally drawn as an ox's head. The Bible tells us there will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars to signal Jesus Christ's return and rapture of believers and the beginning of the apocalypse and tribulation and the end of the age. Many of the end-time biblical and apocalyptic events are foretold in the book of Revelation of the Bible. The Bible tells us God made the lights in the heavens for signs, for seasons and appointed times, as well as for days and for years. When you look at the map that Randy Savey shared on Twitter, there is no doubt that it looks like an leaf. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. So, what does all of this actually mean? To be honest, I'm not entirely sure. But let me share something else that might catch your attention. If you go ahead and do a good old Google search for when the new moon in Jerusalem will occur in October 2023, you'll come across an interesting find. It's going to be on October 14th. And guess what? That's the exact day when the annular solar eclipse will traverse our great nation, stretching from Oregon all the way down to Texas. Now, here's another nugget for you. If you do another Google search, this time for when the new moon in Jerusalem will be in April 2024, you'll see that it's set for April 8. And wouldn't you know it? That's the same day when the great American eclipse will make its grand journey across America, completing the leaf shape we've been talking about. Oh, and by the way, April 8 also marks the first day of the first month on the Hebrew calendar. It's like the start of a brand spanking new biblical year. Honestly, it's hard for me to believe that all of this is just some wild coincidence. I can't shake the feeling that God is trying to communicate something to us. Of course, he's been sending us warnings in countless ways, but most folks simply don't want to pay attention. The signs of the end times are unfolding right in front of our eyes, but unfortunately, many choose to turn a blind eye to the truth. I'll do my best to keep sounding the alarm, and I want to take a moment to thank you for joining me in spreading the message. Together, we can make a difference. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.